In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to set up your document in MLA format using Google Docs. If you're preparing an academic paper, this formatting is essential, and while it might seem daunting at first, we'll break it down into straightforward steps to make the process as simple as possible. Let's dive in. Starting with the font, whether you're working with an already written document or starting from scratch, you'll want to make sure the entire text is set to Times New Roman with a size of 12 peat. This is the standard requirement for MLA format and gives your paper a clean, professional look. Next, let's create your header, which includes your page numbers and last name. To do this, double-click at the very top of your page to enter the header area. Check that your font is still Times New Roman, 12 PT. To maintain consistency, click the Align Right button from the toolbar to position your header properly. Type out your last name and then head to the top menu, click Insert and hover over Page Numbers. Choose the option that places the page number at the top right corner of each page, ensuring that it begins from the first page. Once done, click outside the header to exit. Now it's time to adjust the margins. Go to File, in the top menu, select Page Setup, and ensure all four margins, top, bottom, left and right, are set to 1 inch or 2.54 centimeters. This standard margin keeps your text neatly within the page. Click OK to save those settings. Moving on, let's set the line spacing. MLA format requires everything to be double spaced which is crucial for readability. Select the entirety of your document and find the line spacing icon on the toolbar, which looks like a few lines with arrows pointing up and down. Select Double from the drop-down menu. If there's an option to remove space after paragraph, select that as well, ensuring your document is uniformly double spaced without any extra gaps. Creating your MLA heading is next. Ensure your text is aligned to the left. On separate lines, double-spaced, type your name, your professor's name, the course name, and the date in day-month-year format, such as 7th of July 2025. Now, let's add your paper's title. After your heading, press Enter once and hit the Align Center button. Type your title carefully, making sure not to bold, underline or enlarge it. Just type it in normal text. Remember to capitalize the first letter of all significant words. As you begin to write your body paragraphs, ensure they are aligned to the left. Indent the first line of each paragraph by looking at the ruler at the top of your document. Move the small blue rectangle called the first line indent marker to the half inch mark. This setting allows each new paragraph to indent automatically. Finally, you'll create a works cited page, essential in MLA formatting. Insert a new page by clicking Insert, hover over Break, and select Page Break. Once on this new page, click Align Center and type Works Cited. Press Enter once and click Align Left. For hanging indents in your citations, adjust the ruler again, drag the small blue triangle, the left indent marker, to the half inch mark, then the small blue rectangle back to the zero mark. Now, when you enter citations, the first line will align with the left margin, while subsequent lines are indented half an inch. Remember, these citations need to be double spaced and in alphabetical order. And there you have it. With these steps, you now know how to set up your documents perfectly in MLA format using Google Docs. Good luck with your writing.